We will thrive. So Jackie, I would like to start with you. Um, as I already told you, you are an actress. You are um, successful in Hollywood, and maybe you. maybe you have an advice uh, for the audience. Um, yeah, how to uh, how to get a, a step into Hollywood? I mean, maybe the two of you. <laughs> of course, yeah. Um, you know, it, it certainly isn't easy out here. I can tell you that, but it's an amazing city. Um, Being on lockdown has been difficult, it has, but at the same time, it's been a wonderful opportunity to really sort of, for, for myself, get to know myself as an artist and really uh, think about the things I wanted to put out in the world uh, once this is done. I've, I've done a lot of writing and I've done exactly what we've all been doing at home, which is binge watching uh, <laughs> streaming shows, you know? And what's so amazing about that is I've gotten to see all these different shows and movies that I hadn't seen before and get an idea of what is currently um, popular right now. And it's a different style of acting and uh, all different kinds. And it's been a really insightful experience to really Uh, get to see that kind of acting and learn from it and practice it and, and use it in my own style. Any recommendations for some serious? There's some really, really good ones. I, uh, I absolutely love Little Fires Everywhere on Hulu uh, with Carrie Washington. She's incredible. Um, it's, it's a really great show. It's a new style of, of shows that are really popular. They're little mini series. And so I've, I've done really well watching that and uh, getting an idea of how I can not only do some writing on my own, but learn that style of acting. Yeah, you, you, you mentioned this style of acting. Um, now I'm curious, what is this style about? All different kinds. Um, so you have certain sorts of like, let's say you're watching a sitcom. Well, that's a a different style of acting than if you're watching a drama. And depending on who the director is or who the writer is of that particular show, they're different. So let's say the acting style of Game of Thrones, for instance, is going to be different than the show that I mentioned, Little Fires Everywhere. It's a different period. It's, it's a different, um, same medium uh, filmed, but a different style of acting. Some's a little more theatrical, uh, Some is more serious. And uh, it's, it's interesting, you know, for me, especially as an artist, to see that. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about your show. Um, what do you do exactly right now? Well, you know, I actually, uh, I do a lot of acting. Um, actually, that's how I know Al. He and I both work for a company, uh, with a company called Cop Shop L.A., And we both get booked through them as a police officer quite a bit. Um, I also recently uh, produced a documentary uh, mm -hmm. called Why Me? Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful piece on uh, actors starting out in L.A. here in Hollywood and what they have to go through um, as actors to even get noticed, even get an audition. So it's a very insightful piece that I... Uh, recently did with, um, is directed, created by Rose Wakay Show and Joe Aberdeen. And uh, it's an amazing piece on uh, Amazon Prime. When you do the production, is there sometimes a moment where you think, oh, I would love to play this role or I would love to play, play like this and that? Or do you play an act, uh, produce an act in, in the same production? Usually... Um, Sometimes I will act in the same production, mm -hmm. but with this particular documentary, Why Me, I was strictly production. And uh, we took real live actors and, um, you know, followed them around essentially what their experiences have been here in Hollywood. But it, it depends. Certain productions, I will write a piece for myself, you know, that I know I, I will fit, <laughs> you know, and, and I'll act in that. Or I'm strictly behind the camera. Okay, thank you so much. I'd like to continue with uh, L. <laughs> Amber. Sure. Um, so, 35 years ago, uh, you started with wrestling. Uh, how has the, um, the, 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 the whole scene, uh, how has it changed? 
Well, it's changed a lot. I mean, a lot of us are not very happy. A lot of the old school guys like myself aren't very happy with the way it's going. Um, it's, it's become too much of a circus in our opinions. But, you know, they're doing what they need to make a lot of money, unfortunately. And so I'm, I'm happy to be out of it. I just finished a tour about, uh, what, about six months ago yeah. up in Canada. I was up in Toronto, so hi to all my Toronto people. Nah. I think they're, they're supposed to be watching and they're supposed to be calling in, so I'm kind of happy about that. Um, but, yeah, you know, it was just fun to get back, and I had never wrestled Canada before, so I decided, yeah, why not? So I got back in shape and, you know, <laughs> and just jumped right in. When have you been to Toronto exactly? Uh, well, um, one of the places is Mississauga, um, and uh, what is it, the Rock Pile, which is a very famous uh, rock and roll bar there. Well, they set up a ring inside of there, so we worked there. And uh, But I've been, uh, you know, I was fortunate enough to go down to Niagara Falls and, you know, check out some of the zoos. So, you know, I've had a really good time up there. I met a lot of good people, and I have an adopted mom and dad that I talk to quite often, a couple times a week, and sisters and brothers that I didn't have before I went to Toronto. So, you know, that was kind of cool, too. Yeah. Um, the, 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 uh, thank you so much for all the information. My question was, uh, when have you been to Toronto when you said you finished there in, in the last six months? Oh, um, six months ago, I think yeah. it was, was the last time. But I was there um, four times uh, ah, just okay. for wrestling. And it was oh, okay. all uh, last year in the 2019. Oh, okay. Because I was in Toronto as well this year. I thought maybe we have met and didn't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, unless you came to the show and were yelling and screaming at me, but I was a good guy, so you would have <laughs> liked me. Uh, the Niagara Falls, which part do you prefer, the American or the Canadian? The Canadian side has a much better view, I must admit. And I had the yeah. meal in the restaurant that revolved around, so you got the full 360 degrees of uh, everything. So, you know, I enjoyed the Canada side. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, back to business. Um, I would say uh, it, w it was a good time to retire last year. I mean, regarding the corona situation, right? I mean, it was in the whole picture, it was perfect. Well, that turned out to be good, but I'm also an actor and a stuntman, so oh, okay. uh, that work has really you know, slowed down a lot. Like Jackie said, her and I work together a lot as uh, police officers and... Um, <laughs> But, you know, that's, you know, very few jobs right now, and we're hoping it's going to pick up. But, yeah, we had to watch our money because there wasn't any bookings coming in. And luckily I was smart, and, and I planned ahead, not knowing this was coming, but I always plan ahead. Yeah, I, I think this is so important, uh, especially for artists, to, to have a plan B, right? Always, and even a plan C. I, mean, I give seminars here, and Jackie's actually attended a couple of mine, and I talk to actors about how I get so much work and how they can do it and things they can do to better themselves. So, um, But, yeah, you always have to have a plan B and a C and maybe a D and an E. Um, but everything, you just keep working at it, and if something doesn't work, try a different avenue or diff, you know, different way, and, um, or you just try harder and make it work if, if it's possible. Yeah, of course. Um, how was your way? How could you go from wrestling to Hollywood and act? Uh, actually, one of the wrestling promoters hired me to be in uh, one of his movies and um, playing the bad. And I was the bad guy for many years in wrestling. So that was you know, perfect for me. And mm -hmm. we shot it here in Los Angeles. And that was my first movie. And after that, I went out and got an agent and managers and just started working and I haven't had a real job in 35 years. I've only been an actor, a stuntman, and a pro wrestler. Sounds amazing. Really, really impressive. Thank you so much. We have to conclude the interview, but I want to go uh, back to Jackie um, because... Um, Right now, I haven't read it down, but maybe you know what I mean. Um, I've, I, I've uh, uh, seen that you have a really nice mantra. Do you want to share your mantra with us? Oh, uh, of course. Um, it's that I will not live in uh, a space of fear. So I will always rise above that fear. 
I think living in fear is just not the way to succeed or, or be in life. Okay. This fits so perfectly to this situation right now. Thank you so much, the two of you. Um, I, I, you. I would like... Uh, or do you have uh, some, some last words, some advice maybe to the audience? What do you think, Al? <laughs> uh, my advice is there's only three things you can do with anything in life. is to accept it, to change it, or to leave it. And when you look at everything that simply, it's much easier to make your decisions. This is a Buddhism uh, wisdom quote. I know it in, in a variety, but it's, it's perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks to well, LA. Thank you for having us. Yeah, good thank luck you. for your future. Thank, thank you. you.